All right, guys, here it is. This has been something that I've been thinking about for a very long time. We are going to beat up this 1978 Lizard. That's right. You probably have used this every time you started out in FS19, and you probably always made fun of this pickup truck. I have too. That's right. And I've always wanted to get rid of it. As soon as, say, you're starting a new game or like starting a new farm, and this is the only thing you can afford, this is the first thing to go. So it's two-wheel drive, single cab, nothing special, six-foot bed. We, have, we do have the tow package on the back. That works just fine it might not be working after this video but right now it's working just fine we got the, the the tailgate actually folds down and stuff it's uh it's manual it's a gasser and that's about all i got on it and it has tires it has whatever you need and we are literally gonna put it through the ringer today we're gonna go mudding we are going to put rocks in the back we are gonna tow with it we're gonna just literally take it up straight hills and just beat this little guy up it's fun i love beating up little trucks like this that's what see i, I just want to see what it could do so this is the in-game one it's not a modded one there's nothing it doesn't have a gooseneck hitch it doesn't have a uh, more horsepower and nobody i didn't do anything to it so this is the the just straight in the game 1978 lizard pickup truck first thing i'm gonna do is let's go hook it up to a trailer she's even got the crank down windows i guess it's 1978 so of course they would have crank down windows not power windows there we go let's see if this can even handle the weight of this trailer i think it weighs about 1200 i think it weighs like a thousand flat totally empty about a thousand she's not oh, okay she is she for sure is squatting a little bit more than she was before but there's literally nothing on here all right i'm gonna put on put her to the test brand new kubota svl 952 this is what we just picked up i have the rock wrap on the front just for a little extra weight actually not even that heavy of a attachment but oh well all right here we go let's weigh this suck oh my goodness watch this i'm gonna i'm gonna put so much tongue weight on oh my goodness okay i'm gonna back it off because we're gonna want to at least have our front tires on the ground and i would say right maybe just a little more right there all right that's the picture let's see if she can go i don't know if she can and i wonder if the tires are rubbing on the inside of the wheel well who knows it was literally popping a wheelie so all right something weird happened when it when i pulled up the ramps it it uh it kind of like i don't know fixed it and it wasn't squatting as much so let's move the kubota up just a little bit and here we go I'm gonna go through the ringer here there's some it's not crazy hills around there are some pretty good hills but i just want to see what she could do oh she's struggling just going up this little incline okay i actually was oh no we popped a wheelie good thing that there's no crazy traffic okay i can barely turn because when i accelerate i pop a wheelie oh no we're all we're all over the road it just keeps bouncing up and down okay can i straighten it out there we go all right she can move but let's go find a big hill and see what she can do on it here's our first decent hill can the little guy do it the li little lizard let's see if she can do it this is pretty come on big girl shift up second gear come on come on baby let's can i turn the wheels oh no i'm i'm popping a wheelie i think it's gonna go though we're squealing the back tires that's not good yeah, i can literally like not steer at all she made it she made it that is uh sh she did make it that was a pretty steep hill it wasn't super long at all but it was steep let's go find something a little bit harder all right here we go i i don't think it's gonna make it it struggled a hill back there on the pavement but this is four by four off-road roads i i i think it's really gonna struggle we got a lot of momentum and she's slowed oh she's spinning oh my goodness and we're popping wheelies i, I think i said the stroke was for two wheel drive it's actually four wheel drive as you can tell spinning in the front and can i get any more traction we were just slipping back there i think that's it all right that's our towing test we're gonna check out the payload and that goes right there perfect that fits you know what the bed actually works pretty good guys it can handle quite a bit of weight let's see here and that's probably good right right there yep looks perfect i don't think we'll need this one maybe just use it as a wheel chalk just in case there we go that looks about right so 1978 they built some pretty tough trucks well i didn't know four wheelers could turn in two wheelers this easy let's see if she goes here oh yeah that's just perfect is she turning only when you go in reverse but that's all right that's all you really need all right and that's about it's probably about three three thousand pounds maybe four thousand in the payload so it handles it just fine so really nice payload there all right, I'm on my way down to CJ Boats, flying through Clo Clover Creek here, just heading out of town towards the dealership, and we're gonna see we're gonna see what this bumper can can do. The tow package on here, see what the the girl can do. We're gonna we're gonna try and go on the highway too, so it's not gonna be just like straight way. It's gonna be actually like a little bit of uh, we're gonna have some wind. We're gonna be going like I don't know how fast we're gonna be going, but we'll be going, and it'll be a lot of fun. So I'm heading down to, to the dealership right now we'll pull some big old boat all right here we are we're going to probably the biggest boat we could do is we do have like a really big yacht but it's a gooseneck trailer hitch like it's meant for semis it's not it's not meant for for bumper pole 
So here we go. I probably, gosh dang it, I probably should have hooked up to the red boat. What am I doing? Anyway, it's not, okay, it's squatting, it, but I mean, there, there's three axles on this boat now. The weight does feel like I'm already getting pushed around, and it takes a while to get going for sure. But I'm curious, can we actually pull this in and get her docked? and get her in the water and then I'll, will it pull it out of the or like off the boat ramp so i'm not even gonna launch the it won't i won't technically launch the boat i'm just gonna get the boat in the water we're gonna go down the pretty steep incline there we go keep going a bit more all right that's probably a good way. oh she was having a little bit of all right we're in here we go let's see if she takes off it seems like we're squatting quite a bit quite a bit of weight on the rear tires and i got them a little wet come on big cat it's turning Come on. There we go. Once it starts to even out here, it's not its not that heavy. It must not be too heavy. So there we go. That scooted right along with the boat. Not a big deal at all. Technically, that's our biggest boat. I just wanted to see actually like how it would pull. Now I'm going to go ahead and fly down the highway with it like really, really fast and then kind of see how it goes. But I'm surprised the, the leaf springs are still connected after what we did to it with the logs and everything that was... That was pretty mean, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty mean. But she's struggling a little bit out here. We'll see top speed and then braking power. I think braking power is gonna be a little tough. I'm literally full throttle right now. And we're going like 16 miles an hour. So it is a little heavier than I thought. And the weight is, okay, the weight is really pushing us around. Oh my goodness, I'm spinning out. The problem is the boat just pushes me so I can't like steer. And then when I steer to the left, then it small minute changes. Okay, I thought, I thought the truck was going to handle it better than it is. It's having a really, really tough time. Let's see if we can scoot back into town here. All right, this is actually, for some reason, the truck is having a way tougher time. Maybe, oh my, here we go. You guys see just the back tires just skid on, slide on, come on. Maybe this will be our uh, new dip, drift in truck. We'll just have to see here. Do some pretty crazy burnouts with this. All right, there we go. We straightened her out. No big deal. Hopefully there isn't too much wind, but on the open road, this thing is is not too good. We're maxing out 21 miles an hour. I'm full throttle. This is, I'm on cruise control at 75, and that's all she can do. I wonder if it's going to be able to make it up this hill. Oh, no, we are squatting. You can literally see, like, the weight go up and down. It's bouncing. Oh, my goodness. Come on, big cat. Come on. You can do it. Little red. Keep tugging. Okay, it actually might be doing better uphill. I, like, we slowed down a little bit, but kind of got it underneath control. There she is. Once you, uh, for some reason, it was bound. There must have been some bumps in the road back there. There we go. It's bouncing again. You can see it. What in the heck? All right, anyway. I think we put the truck through the ringer. The only thing I didn't take it through is mud. We, well, we did payload. We did towing. We did quite a few with this guy let me know what else you guys want to see with it we could probably do like some off-road maybe put some off-road tires on it raise up the suspension and see if we can maybe yeah maybe do some like rock climbing some hill climbs stuff like that if i trick it out just a little bit you know maybe maybe like a three four inch lift kit throw on some big beefy old tires and see what she can do let me know what you guys think in the comment section if you enjoyed today's episode make sure to smash the like button please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in the next one